Jonathan Landeros with Kativ Technologies, and this video is getting a previous file version from Autodesk Vault. To start out, I've got this file inside of uh, Inventor, and I want to retrieve a version that does not have this flange that I'm indicating right here. I know I could delete it, but this is just something for the sake of example. So if I check my Vault status, we can see this file is currently checked out. I want to keep it that way, so I'll close this file but I'll keep it checked out and therefore still reserved to me. Now I switch to my Vault Explorer. We can confirm right here the file still checked out to me. And down in the history window, I choose the version that I want to restore, right click on it, and choose Get Checkout. Hit OK. Vault will say I'm going to overwrite my local workspace, but I'm getting a previous version. That's exactly what I intend to do in this case. I'll say yes. And now I can switch back to Inventor, choose File and Open, select the file, and already I can see that the thumbnail shows me this is an old version. And just like that, I've now retrieved the old version. Now I still need to make the old version the new version, so I'm going to switch to my Vault status, and here's where I could refresh and bring back the current version, or I can check in, at which point the version I've got on screen supersedes the previous uh, file that I had open at the beginning of the video and now it becomes my new current version. Files checking in. I go ahead and refresh my vault and now we can go ahead and see that that uh, version without the flange has superseded all other versions and is now the current version. That's it. That's retrieving a previous version from Autodesk Vault. Thank you very much everyone.